Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to the, uh, the Force Savers channel. Uh, I really appreciate you coming here to check out what I'm doing. Um, so, uh, to date, uh, in the regards to like building videos, we've had a Shoto, uh, which was one I made from scratch for a customer called Jim from Falcon and Force. If you don't know who he is, check him out unbelievably good content. I, I love his content. He does loads of reviews on lightsabers, Lego, uh, all sorts of things. Brilliant. Got some awesome, really awesome helmets on there as well. Uh, yeah, so check him out. I'll put a link in below for his channel. Um, so I made uh, the show today for him. Uh, that was three parts to that, to that process. Uh, I, I'm, I was brand new to it. First time I did it, so I, it wasn't the best I've done. Uh, I then have made the Luke Skywalker handle, which was, it was for myself. I wanted to do it, I wanted to see if I could do it. And I, I went off and I, I've created that. Uh, really, really happy with it. Um, I would change the material ever so slightly if I went back to do it again. Uh, but the rest of the body I really like. And uh, that was a five part uh, program. And you'll see there's a big jump from how that was to how the. Luke Skywalker videos put together. Uh, that's kind of like how I'm going to go and put this. So all the building, uh, I'll just go mute it, put some music over it, and you just get to see me do a whole hog of, of work. Um, so that brings us to today. And today I am going to build the lightsaber uh, from the films uh, from Disney. Uh, this is the Luke Skywalker lightsaber that was broken by Ray and Kylo. And then... Um, uh, it was put back together again. Uh, let me just pull that blind. Sorry. Some of the sun was coming in. Oops. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so that Luke Skywalker handle was put back together again. Uh, and that's the one that we're going to build today. Now, uh, normally I wouldn't build one. The, the general rule I'm going to go on is I won't build a lightsaber that I sell. Uh, so I won't film the building process of one that I actually sell on the website. Uh, I have been selling this on the website for a number of years. It just doesn't really sell. It's not just my version. Um, the vast majority of people just don't particularly want that particular model, which is it's strange because it's nice, but it's it's a shame. But you know that's what that's what people want, and it's that hilt. Sadly, isn't a popular hilt by a lot of people. Uh, so I've retired that model, but I'm going to make one very last one of them for an individual called Jim from Fulcrum of the Force. <laughs> uh, link, his, link to his channel is below. Uh, he's He's been basically begging me for, oh, must be about maybe a year for me to make this uh, this one specific hill. Uh, I said I would do it for him way back when I was selling it, so it's only fair that you know the very last one I make for this particular model will be going to a uh, good home and somebody that will absolutely love it. There will be some very interesting techniques uh, that I use in this one. I will actually, it's, uh, rather than just stream for everything, uh, I may actually just uh, do normal video footage and you'll actually see me doing a couple of very different special ways of doing things. So, um, we'll see. It depends if I remember when I get to the editing. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's get started. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut all the parts and I'm going to get all the bits and pieces made uh, for the uh, the saber to be put together and refined down to what they need to look like. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the plastic uh, for the ribs because that takes about five oh, oh, five days. No, it takes about two days. It takes about two days for it to be poured and then do perfectly hard. So better pour it now.
Uh, right, so we've gone through quite a lot of the parts. Um, I'll just take you over to this side because it'll be easier for me to talk to you. So, so far we've got uh, the main tube cut out for the body. We've got the first part of the switch section. We've got the second part of the switch section which has all been done. This needs to be polished up um, and that goes over this one which is cool. So we've got those. We've got the emitter done which is really nice. Nice and shiny. Uh, we also have a little bit uh, just inside which will stop all the parts falling out or going any further inside. So that's done. Um, the camera, unfortunately I've just got this one camera with one battery and it runs out of power quite quickly so after all that first bit until now uh, it took the entire battery to do that. Uh, it records for over an hour, I think I don't, I think it's like two hours of recording or something. Anyway, um, so while it was charging I have done the uh, emitter section on this and I'm going to polish it up to make this all super super soft and nice so we'll jump over to the uh, polish machine and I'll do that now. Hi Bucky and sorry I forgot to mention um, the little bit that goes on top of here, the bunny ears as they're affectionately called uh, I haven't done them so after I pause this I'm just going to do one long shoot after this I'm going to cut out the metal for the bunny ears I'm going to shape the bunny ears and then I'm going to go straight into actually welding the bully, bunny ears onto this because uh, it's hand welded so you'll see me how to do all that so just one moment and we'll get started So you've just seen me polish this, I'm sorry I've come back to chassis again, you've just seen me polish this, something I forgot to do, um, there's an additional hole up here, and there's going to be three holes here, I forgot to do some bits, so I'm going to do that now, I'm going to actually record, this is a round hole, as you can see, I'm sorry I'm not trying to be stupid, but this is a round hole, it needs to go to be square, so I need to get my very special tool, Oops. <laughs> which is this tool here this is HSA, HSS steel and I have uh, tooled this myself specifically to make that circle into a square so we're going to go back and you go watch me do that
God, that is to do that square. It takes so much effort. And I know there'll be some people out saying, "Oh, you could use a file. Why don't you use a file?" Um, if that's not perfectly lined up, then yes, I would use this file, which is a square file, and I would just quickly go around it like this, just to just to finish it off. But that's pretty much dead on. It's completely straight. The great thing about this saber that I'm doing for the last time, which is also very great, it has two more here. Thanks, Jim. So, uh, uh, let's do two more, shall we? Oh, God. So there we are, the square holes are now done, oh what a nightmare, but yay, very happy. Oh right, so I'll be honest guys, I think that's the end of part one, I'm shattered, this has taken all day, uh, so I think I'm going to come back tomorrow and finish the rest of this off. Uh, so tomorrow what we'll be doing is we're going to do the bunny ears, I'm going to cut the bunny ears, uh, I'm going to fix the bunny ears, once they're on that means I can put the emitter in, once the emitter's in it just remains the switch section and the ribs, so yeah, oh shattered, I'll see you in uh, part two. Hey, thank you for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you've got to the end of the video, uh, if you just got a few seconds, just click the like, become a subscriber. I've got loads of content that's going to be coming out to this channel all year round. Uh, there's going to be lots of build videos on here, so it's going to be really, really great. Uh, just so you know, I now have Patreon, so just for $3, you can get 10% off anything on my store and also uh, you'll get the full build video so not just part one part two etc the full build video in one go will all be there for you so it's really really good content check it out it's a huge help to me thank you for watching and i will see you in the next update